Ugh, hey gang. I uh, sure wish I could be my usual chipper self, you know, I'm sitting down playing a Dead Rising game. That should excite me. But it doesn't. Not this time. Oh god, not this time. So yeah, this is... Dead Rising 4. Or hold on, let me, let's start that over again. Dead Rising 4 is the most disappointing thing since my son. So I'm using my secondary account, you might notice the name. TwinkleToes 420p, that's the co-op account I use when me and Hank play uh, Gears of War. So anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm starting this fresh on the second account because that's the only way to get that like prologue part to play um, without just starting case zero. So let's jump into this oh horrible, not really all that great game. Well, let me clarify before I get people like in a tizzy. The gameplay in this game is is really quite great. It's the story that um, is really not good. What the hell? So, I mean, this is kind of neat, but this is, like, the mall from this game. They're trying to do some sort of, like, flashback type thing here with, like, the ghost of old Frank, but for whatever reason, it's the, the mall from this game. And, you know, I don't even care that I just talked over I Covered Wars, you know. Other games I would have cared, not this one. But yeah, it would have been cool if they had actually brought us back to the Willamette Parkview Mall, not the... Like Memorial Megaplex or whatever it's called in this game. Um, so yeah, one of the big things that just it kind of kept haunting me throughout the game. I thought I was gonna be okay with it, like I was with Kiefer in Metal Gear Solid Five. I thought I'd be okay with Frank's voice in this game. I'm not. But in in another way, I kind of am okay with it because this is not Frank West. This character that we are portraying right now, this is not in fact Frank West. So, I'm actually glad that TJ Rotolo did not, in fact, end up voicing Frank West in this game. Um, because this... This is like a parody of Frank. This is someone who does not understand who Frank West is as a character. Uh, and that's who is writing him, and I'm completely not where I'm supposed to be right now. Oh, no! Yeah, I haven't been able to find a way in this game so far to um, negate fall damage. So, I thought that, um, like, in the original gameplay stuff that we heard this new Frank voice, I thought, oh, it's, it kind of sounds like Rob Riggle, who played him in Dead Rising Watchtower, um, and I thought he did a good job. So I was like, oh, it's, it's Rob Riggle, or someone that sounds similar to Rob Riggle. Um, the, the guy, his name is credited as, like, Victor Osnato or something like that. Um, but I think people have found out and that it is, in fact, um, uh, what's his name? Ty Olsen, I think? Uh, you know, I just, I watched an interview with, with that Ty Olsen guy, and yeah, it's, it's definitely him. It's the same voice. And I don't even, like, dislike his voice. It, it's a good voice, it's just this is not Frank. Uh, I'm gonna try not to be too negative throughout this, because I do like to look at things kind of in a more positive light. But, um, I mean, as a diehard Dead Rising fan who's been playing the series pretty much since day one, you know, this is... This, this is a tough game for me. Hey, do you guys remember Dead Rising 1? What well, that certainly was a video game, wasn't it? Apparently, I haven't actually been able to hear it. It'll probably be better when I hear it with the headphones on. 
But, um, apparently Brad and Jesse, you can hear their voices in this part. And it's, um, the same. They just reuse the clips from the first game. This is another pretty good weapon. The weapon, the combo weapons, the combo vehicles, and the gameplay in this game are, are really good. And it almost redeems this game, but it's, it's the story that falls apart. It's the story... And the, um, like, its interpretation of Frank is what really kills this game for me. As a video game, this is completely playable when it's not a, um, a bumbling mess, like a nightmare of, you know, gameplay and bugginess. Like, right there, that zombie just popped out of nowhere. But, whatever. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to my, uh, normal account where I'm level 75. Uh, so I'll meet you guys back here in about a second. Hey, alright there guys, we're back. With this little, little old game, it's called, it's called De Dead Rising for... Really excited to be here right now. Playing this wonderful game. I was getting a medal from the president, and when I went to go shake his hand, I tripped and kind of punched him. In the neck. In the neck? I tripped. You sucker punched the president in the neck? You just love making me look like an asshole, don't you? You know, you should have been a tabloid journalist. Oh, screw you. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot that you subject. Both your parents were killed by tabloid journalists. Ha ha. Where are we going, anyway? What uh the... Just hear me out. You said we were gonna go play mini golf. <laughs> Respectfully, Professor. I can't actually believe you fell for that. I love mini golf. Yeah. Um, listen. There's this secret military base. Oh, please, not another bullshit website conspiracy. It's not bullshit. They're doing illegal scientific research. Turn the car around. Human experiment, Frank. Turn the car around. Frank! Jeez! Frank! <laughs> All the times we've talked after class, have I ever intimated that I wanted to return to Willamette? It'll be fine. You need to relax. Yeah, she says before the screaming starts. Ugh. You're the one who always says that I take crap photos on my phone. You do. So, who better to learn than from a world-class photographer? That's my camera. Yeah, it was hanging in your closet. Which was locked. Not very well. Listen, the source says body bags going in and out. Rumors of human trials, abandoned missile site? Come on, Frank. How can you say no to this? No. Frank. This is our chance. Please. All right, when well, I'm driving. What? No, this is my car. So this like this isn't bad. This stuff is okay. It's like they they kind of they lull you in. They're like, hey, this game's gonna be good, because the stuff Frank said in that cutscene that was fine. That's that's pretty much the most amount of like actual Frank you will see in this video game. Otherwise, he's just kind of you know they miss the point. I've said this before. They just completely miss the point of who Frank is. Wait, 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 wait. All right. Some ground rules. This is my story now. What? You are here to learn. Remember two minutes ago, this is my story. You were here to watch and learn how a real investigative journalist does his shit in the field. With nothing but his notes, his camera, and his fucking balls. You got it? And you know, again, they like I said, they lull you in. They make you think this is going to be a Dead Rising experience, which means because for the first time since the first game, you know, they they reused his uh, his theme there. That happens in that little, very subtle part of that cool. song. It was pretty cool. He will get the notes. I'll take the pictures. We'll get the story, and we'll get out. Okay. You want to break the story? You don't want the story to break you. 
Got it. Keep your eye on the prize, okay? All right. This goes well, you get the next one. Fist bump. Uh, no. Come on, just do it. I, I, no, I can't. Too cool for school, huh? I see. We got some work to do. Crazy old mofo. And like I said, if this if this character was not Frank West, if this was Hank East, I would be completely fine with it. Because he's not a bad character. He is a god awful Frank West. There's a security card hidden in the shed somewhere. Um, I saw something on uh, you know a source I would never usually go to, which was Reddit. Um, someone put it really quite quite well. I'll see if I can't find the original comment, but. It was like, hey, remember in the first Dead Rising when Frank didn't help Brad put the, the food away? Now he's just completely lazy and an idiot. And I don't know. Like I said, I'll try not to be too down on this game because there are things in it that I like. Mainly the gameplay and some of the changes are actually pretty good. Um, really just one of the changes is pretty good, but the rest is... Uh, uh, much maligned in my in my eyes. So there's sneaking in this video game for some reason. Because when I think Frank West, I think subtlety and stealth. Can I murder this guy? What are you doing? Frank? Oh my god. You killed him? <laughs> what? No, no, he's just sleeping. Oh. Uh, okay. I actually didn't do that the first time through, so this is the first time I've heard that. That one line of dialogue actually just changed my entire opinion on this game. Where the fuck did Vic go? There she is. So Vic is probably one of my least favorite characters in the entire series, because from the very beginning of the game, it's pretty clear what they were going to do in this game. I called it about a um, couple levels in, like... We're going to make Frank as big of an asshole as humanly possible, and we're going to make the player like Vic more. And uh, that is uh, kind of annoying in my book. You, you shouldn't... In order to make one good character, you shouldn't tear another one down. That's just... That's my opinion, anyway. Oh, my God. Get some pictures. Uh, I wonder what the weather's like. Do you think? So, you know, the camera is back. Which is, you know, that's good. I'm, I'm okay with that, actually. I would say it's one of the better parts of the game. The fact that they brought the camera back. I like the fact that you could take selfies in the game. Um, I, I don't mind that, actually. I, it, you could do it in Off the Record, I do believe, if I'm remembering correct. And it's something that um, Link could do in Wind Waker HD, which I, I like. It gave a bit of character to the game. Uh, so, you know, out of all the things in this game, selfies I actually quite like. Uh, but it is actually kind of weird, the photography. Like, these bodies don't count as anything. Or maybe they patched it. Because I remember the first time I played through this game, I tried to take pictures of, like, all these guys. And they didn't count. So, I guess maybe that's fixed now. But, yeah, the, the problems with this game... I'm not gonna... I'm probably gonna drop it after this first act. And just let the game kind of play out. But um, the problems with this game come in when you really look at the story as a whole. Uh, I, I spent about 15 hours playing through this game the first time through. Um, all of that time was spent exploring Willamette and the mall and picking up collectibles. And very minimal time was spent on the story. So if I had gone through like I'm going to do in this Let's Play, I'm going to just run through the story that is when the game uh, falls apart. So let's murder this guy. Frank, it's a zombie. It no, sure is. Are you okay? My therapist says it's an ongoing process. Try that door. I'll see what I can do from up here. And I can't believe that I'm actually going to give one of my least favorite games uh, ever uh, like praise. But um, Dead Space 2 actually kind of does something very well that this game I was kind of hoping was going to do. And that's the section in Dead Space 2 where you go back to the Ishimura, and Isaac's kind of like, ah, oh, fuck, I really don't want to do this. Um, Frank really should have had the same response. 
to going back to Willamette that Isaac does to the um, to the Ishimura, but not really. Once he's in, he's pretty much like, yeah, whatever. And uh, it, this pretty much plays just like um, Dead Rising 3 did. The combo moves are uh, kind of like Batman-esque, where once you get a certain uh, you know combo, you can then do a combo move. Uh, I do still prefer the way that it was done in the older games, where oh, there's still a person, where when you um, you know you could just do them at any point in time. Also, you'll notice I'm level 75. Um, that is all from one playthrough, and I don't think that that's okay. I don't think in one normal playthrough of a game, you should be able to reach a level 75. All right. Last you ready, Professor? Yes, come on. And you know what the worst part is? He doesn't even really say, like, fantastic. But again, this is not Frank West. This is Hank East. Um. Yeah, some of these movies are cool. Uh, I forget what engine this is This is running on. But uh, I'm going to actually go ahead and say Dead Rising 3 looked better and performed better, too. And I thought Dead Rising 3 had uh, a few issues. But, uh, yeah. It just, it, they look too plasticky. In my opinion, everyone, not just the zombies, but um, like Frank does too in, in cutscenes. And you better hope that you're not covered in blood during cutscenes, otherwise, the cutscenes will actually look like trash. Just complete trash. Hang on. I'm coming down. It is funny though. I, I made that video where I was uh, like kind of reacted to the Dead Rising uh, Four trailer, and then I made a reaction to um, how I was feeling about Vic. Resident Evil Seven. This is way better than mini golf. And I was saying how it, I thought it would, was weird that I was living in a time where I, I was more excited for a Dead Rising game for a Resident Evil game. Look, it it's funny how uh, the universe likes to course correct like that. Knowledge. Where now I'm like, oh, bring on Resident Evil Seven! Please watch the taste. Of this game out of my mouth. Bingo. This is something that I like. I like Take this. Notes. I like investigating in this game. This was a good idea that I'm glad they did because it gives a good use for Frank's um, stuff. Need a better angle. There we go. I think this equipment is for stimulating changes in the brain. What? Are you a med student too? Nah. I just read a lot of sci fi. I hate you, Vic. I really do. Whoops. Get used to this. This, it, it kind of reminds me of um, the detective stuff in like Arkham City and Arkham Origins and stuff like that. Wait, what am I... Oh, this thing over here. Vic, can you get out of my picture, Vic? You're gonna take a picture of that, right? I think I'm gonna play the entire game like this. Every time I need to take a picture, Frank's face is gonna be in it. Because that actually seems like a Frank West thing to do. To, you know, every, he's gonna break this really important story, but when it comes down to the pictures, his face needs to be in every single one of them. It's an ego thing. It's not really an asshole thing to do. But I think the word I will most likely be saying the most in this let's play is probably asshole. Turn on your night vision. Or bad. Oh, I added a bunch of new filters to your camera. So this night vision filter thing is probably something we're not going to see a whole lot of because uh just like the older games, if you have a, a certain weapon, uh you know, sometimes you don't need uh, a light because it'll give its own light off. This is some kind of surveillance room. Come on. Let's also, you could just kind of mash it like that, and you'll get kind of a uh, a brief glimpse of the the night vision, Physically, so you don't have to stay in the camera mode. That's a big improvement. 
Otherwise, no change. Why am I looking at this? We're not improving the treatment, we're perfecting it. What the client is expecting, it's... This is the type of project that requires a lifetime of research. Now, the progress you see is... If you can't meet the deadline, Doctor, you'll be replaced. Put this one with the others. We're experimenting on zombies. Imprisoning them. But what for? For observation. They're trying to create something. Shit. Frank, we're gonna stop these assholes, right? <laughs> whoa, whoa. We get the story, we get out, we get paid. That's what we do. That's all we do. Huh. Wow, it's like Frank's an asshole and Vic just wants Always. to do the night the right thing. Isn't Vic such a great character and isn't Frank just such a big asshole? Like a big stupid asshole that only cares about himself? Don't you just hate Frank in this game? And don't you just love Vic a lot? Isn't Vic, like, the best character that's ever been made? God, I love Vic. Uh, I think I'm gonna call it for this video. We'll do the stupid photography thing in the next one. Oh, God. Why am I playing this?